all so much. Uh, I'd like to express our appreciation uh, for inviting us here today. I'm here with my wife, Mary Hattie. Bless her. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> and uh, she came today to be with you all. Uh, we, got, we, we feel like we are, we, we are, we feel like we, we are, we're supposed to be here. We are Hamiltonians. <laughs> uh, it's been about 50 some years since I lived there, but nevertheless, we're here today. Where are you? Up there, that's why. Some of y'all are trying to play ball with her. And, uh, when she was at Hamilton. I want to say a few words that uh, I hope will inspire some, encourage some support one another, and live a life that honors God. Is that all right? Yeah. All right, we'll speak to you concerning those three little words, the important words mainly in here. And uh, Lee and uh, Deacon Dennis uh, came out of Clarkson and uh, went through Hamilton and went to the Army, and he made it back home alive. Uh, we are uh, we glad to see some of y'all that I uh, know maybe one or two of them that graduated when I did in 59. But that was a long time ago, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a long time ago, but we still here. <laughs> Praise the God for that. Uh, brothers and sisters, we should be willing today to give God all honor, all praise, and all glory. Well, you can look at what we're going through and speaking today here among you. And we know by our vision and what we see here, we know that God has been good to us. I said, God has been good to us. And you know what? We're going to honor him with our praise, honor, and glory and all that we and all that we do in this world. My heart is heavy, and I haven't been able to get beyond it yet. Still concerned about the, uh, the uh, uh, Afghanistan situation and people who are dying there needlessly, and uh, nobody has an answer in sight. Uh, they'll say words, but no action follows. I'm a bit brief today as well. Uh, my next brother, brother next to me, died a lot ago, and I hadn't gotten beyond that. You know, so life is a strange thing. You know, but one thing about it, we trust God. Everything will be what all right. Leave it. Trust it. Go on here. Push it like you need to be. And once you get to there, he'll see that you're all right. I uh, wanted to just say, too, that uh, at, at, at Hamilton, some of you already went to Hamilton, uh, other schools in the county, we had some good schools. We had some wonderful teachers from all over. And as I look back at the situations back then, I can see that God was in the blessing business because he brought many, many, many through, uh, even to the highest levels of educational achievement. We're still moving on, people, and we're going to keep on moving on until God tells us to sit down. And not time yet to sit down, so we'll just keep on moving do whatever he has for us to do. I want to say a few words here, just uh, an inspiration. And, uh, in this inspiration, hey, find my note now. Huh? Here come back, okay. Look <laughs> in the Bible, man.
remember something from the 23rd Psalm. If you don't know anything about the 23rd Psalm, raise your hand for me. I'll make sure to bring it back to you. Amen? All right, then. Well, we're going to read to you and add a little something to it. Uh, the 23rd Psalms. And uh, the 23rd Psalm is more than meets the eye. Is more than meets the eye. The 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. And you know, the Lord is my shepherd. That is relationship. What is your relationship? But the Lord is my shepherd. And Jesus your Savior. Uh, the Lord, I shall not want. Uh, that is the plan. I've been on this earth now uh, for on 72 years. And I'm running an inventory on things that happened in my life and what God did to help me through those situations. Uh, he is my, he, he, I shall not want. That is supply. I know a lot of people that have received many, many, many powerful blessings just through the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anybody here know anything about prayer? Yeah. Huh? In the morning? At lunchtime? Huh? All day long. We should thank God for what He's already done for us. I lived in this neighborhood right here, my wife and I. Uh, 35 years, and uh, we still come through here, walk around, look and see. I want to tell y'all that he supplied you all with some mighty powerful thing. I'm going to tell you that this is a beautiful neighborhood. Do you agree? Huh? Are you happy with it? Uh-huh. Keep it that way. If you do anything, improve it. Amen? Amen. He made me to lie down in green pastures. Green pastures. That's refreshment. 